iPod Touch. Now this one is called Steam My Phone. And what you do is you scroll down till you see I oops, I gotta find it right here. iPhone and iPod Touch themes. And they do update pretty like yeah, like they they update it like every week I'd say. Let's say I want this, this one right here, and there are like a bunch of them. Like there's, there's like over like 15 pages of them. But say I like this one, click on it, and make sure you have your iPod connected, and then, then say you like, say you like that theme. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're going to click. Oops, sorry about this. I just plugged in my iPod, so sorry. Hang on. Yeah, that's great. You go down to download or click here to download the Steam. Alright, now this can get really annoying. If you go if you like if you really like a theme and it comes up with this and you have to find it, it doesn't work. So you're gonna have to go back and find a new theme. So So let's just go to page five real fast. Um, say, alright, say you like this. This is like one of the many leopard themes that people like. Say you like that theme right there, and you click do download this theme, and you click the save button, and then you want to save it to your desktop. Some some may take really really short, and then some might take a time. Right. Now, a big problem with this would be this. Okay, if you open up a file and it has like a like a paper file, like right here it says Mac OS X, it won't work. So go ahead and close out of that, and minimize your screen. So then right click. On it, and you're gonna want to extract it. Click extract, and it'll copy the items. All right. So then it'll be right there. So then you're gonna have to, of course, SSH them into your iPod Touch or iPhone. So then, and then I have a tutorial, which it's. I'll put the tutorial link in the video description. So let's go ahead and connect it real fast. Alright. Now you're going to want to go to this folder, which is a blank folder. And you're going to want to scroll up to that blank folder. Another blank folder. You're going to click on Applications. Or whatever. And then you're going to click that empty folder. And you're going to go down to Themes. And right here, it should be every theme that you have on your iPod Touch or iPhone. I know what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take the extracted theme and drag it into here. Then you just click copy, and then it should take a little bit to copy. Alright, and it should be in there. And then now let's go to um let's go to my web page. on that and then you're going to want to uncheck the theme that you have right now and then click the home button and then yeah and then it should reboot and then it might not have a black screen but that's I made that that's not oops huh. All right. yeah for some reason this one didn't work but yeah, there are so many things. 